So yesterday I made this video in regards to Justify winning the Triple Crown and how it was absolutely scripted by the numbers. It's scripted by what is called gematria, which is the practice of coding numbers into words and phrases. And if you don't believe me, just check out. I have thousands of videos you can come and check out and countless of examples of how this goes on every day in our mainstream media. Our sports leagues are scripted this way. Our told history is all scripted with this system. And, you know, this Triple Crown was no different. And later on in the day, I saw this story about Rob Gronkowski betting $69 on a horse that was named Gronkowski. And, you know, it was named after him. And they, they make it seem like a big joke in this article. You know, they they say that he bet $69 because the horse race was on 6-9, the date of 6-9. And some other guy in the on Twitter they show, he says, you know, the odds were 69-1, to 1, the opening odds for Gronkowski on 6-9 were 69-1. to 1, And then Gronkowski bet $69. All because of the 69 jokes, supposedly. So they, they turned it into some type of joke. But this is the type of stuff that I was following years ago before I even understood gematria. I knew there was something important to numbers. That's why I started studying numerology. Because 911 happens and then 911 is the emergency dialing code. You know there was something important to numbers. And then when you... Do further research, you find out stuff like September 11th equals 77, and World Trade Center equals 77, and Flight 77 hit the 77-foot-tall Pentagon exactly 77 minutes after takeoff on the 77th meridian, you know, and much, much more. It's connected to George Bush, his, George Bush's father, who gave the speech about the New World Order exactly 11 years before the 11... 11 years before the 9-11 attacks, and that happened on the in the 11th state with the giant buildings that look like an 11, and the first flight to hit was flight AA-11. A is the first letter, so it's even a lot like an 11-11. Even George Bush's grandpa, Prescott Bush, he died age 77. I think he died age 77, seven months and seven days before his birthday, but so anyway, we get the story, Gronkowski betting $69 because the date is 6-9. And what they don't tell you is that in Gematria, Rob Gronkowski also equals 69. So go figure, you know, 69, he bets $69 on a, on a horse that races on 6-9. If you write out $69 in Gematria, it equals 220 Notice all of these here, $69. And his real name is Robert Gronkowski. Notice it equals 220, 95, almost an identical match. You know, Robert Gronkowski equals $69. Rob Gronkowski equals 69 in Gematria. That's why we get these stories. That's why we get pointless stories in the media about a house that burnt down or something, you know, just something. They always give you a pointless number that seems pointless until you understand gematria then you understand that they they code all of these articles the names of the story sync up to the birthdays of the people in the story such as celebrities dying all the time you know so it, well let's just look at one we had a, a new england patriots player die on 6-9 his name was kenyatta jones he died on the 160th day of the year, and Kenyatta Jones equals 160 in Gematria. You know, yet another example. His full name equals 79, and he died seven months, nine days before his birthday, and he was born in the year 79. And all of this is synced up to the not standing during the national anthem stuff that's going on, and the Patriots losing to the Eagles in the Super Bowl. The Star Spangled Banner equals 223. Notice he also died 223 days before his birthday. And Kaepernick equals 223. That's why Roseanne came back on the 223rd episode 
and then it got canceled after the 231st because the Star Spangled Banner equals 223 and National Anthem equals 231. And if you recall, she sang the terrible National Anthem. You know, that's why they brought all of this back. So, he died of cardiac arrest that equals 231, like National Anthem. His initials are break down to 2, 3, and 1, 231. You know, much, much more. So, you know, just wanted to show another example of how people die by the numbers and how it's not a joke. Roseanne even practices Kabbalah, admittedly, just like Ashton Kutcher and a bunch of other people, Marilyn Manson, and, you know, that is what this all stems back to, or a lot of it stems back to Jewish mysticism, which is the belief that God created the world by merging the letter with the number, and, you know, they use Gematria within Kabbalah, so... It's not crazy. So $69 horse, or $69 bet on the horse on 6'9", Rob Gronkowski, equals 69 to Jabatria. Just Gronkowski equals 52. Horse race equals 52. Remember, Justify just won, and the jockey was 52-year-old Mike Smith. He became the oldest jockey to win the Triple Crown. You think about Gronkowski, who was just in Super Bowl 52. Even the tweet above, the tweet up here with the guy saying the, the earth would explode, his name's John Breach, his name equals 52 in Gematria. And also the jockey for the horse Gronkowski was Ho Jose Ortiz. Jose Ortiz equals 52, just like horse race, just like Gronkowski. I'll leave a link to that other video, but it's absolutely all about Queen Elizabeth and the number 52 in American Pharaoh winning the Kentucky Derby on 5-2 that Tom Brady also went to, and it was held on the same day as the Manny Pacquiao-Floyd Mayweather fight. But moving on here, if you go from June 9th to the day of Super Bowl 53, it's 239 days away. The 52nd prime number is 239, so 239 days before Super Bowl 53 that the Patriots could possibly be in. I also noticed that it came four months and five days after Super Bowl 52, and New England equals 45 in Gematria, a lot like 45, four months, five days. In 2015, when American Pharaoh won the Triple Crown. American Pharaoh won the Triple Crown four months and five days after the Patriots won the Super Bowl. Once again, New England equals 45. Then the next year, the White Bronco beat the Black Panther in the Super Bowl. They even brought back the, you know, O.J. Simpson TV show with the, you know, him running away in the White Bronco. And then the Broncos go on to win the Super Bowl. It's just a joke. Also, if you look up this horse, Gronkowski, look what the date that it says it was foaled, or however you pronounce that. 2-1 of 2015, that was the day the Patriots won the Super Bowl 49 in 2015. Absolutely scripted. One of the most obvious Super Bowls, you know, remember it was number 21, number 21, can't even think of the guy's name, Malcolm Butler. Number 21, Malcolm Butler intercepted Russell Wilson's 21st pass on second and one, and then he fell to the ground with 21 seconds left, and the game was played on 2-1. And in Gematria, Malcolm equals 24, Butler equals 24, Terrell, his middle name, equals 24, Seahawks equal 24. They lost with 24 points. They should have ran the ball to Marshawn Lynch who wore number 24, but they couldn't because he already had 24 carries in the game. So he stayed on 24 carries. They didn't run the ball to him. Instead, they threw an interception that was absolutely coded by the numbers. You know, even if you read out 24 in Gematria, it equals 49. A lot like Super Bowl 49. Earlier in the year, before Super Bowl 49, Tom Brady sold his house to uh, Dr. Dre. And 
it, it was called the, it was him and Giselle Bunchchin, the Brady Bunchchin house. And then Alice on the Brady Bunch died just days after that. But Dr. Dre and Gematria equals 49. And he was 49 years old. And he is also born on the 49th day of the year. And then Tom Brady goes on to win Super Bowl 49 that has the Brady Bunch commercial in it even. You know, Brady Bunch equals 98. Tom Brady equals 98. New England Patriots equal 98. Michigan Wolverines equal 98. He became the starter at Michigan in the year 98. The Brady Bunch commercial was a Snickers commercial. Snickers equals 98 in Gematria. Jim Harbaugh equals 98, the coach of the Michigan Wolverines football team. I mean, how can you deny that, you know? Just learn to apply this. Check out the links in the description. I also pointed out that if you go from June 9th, 6-9, to Tom Brady's birthday, it's one month, 25 days, which just stands out because this four months, five days is also 125 days. So it just stands out. If you go from Gronkowski's birthday to Brady's, it's two months, 20 days. Just like Robert Gronkowski, just like $69. The word football equals 83, Brady born on 8 slash 3, Peyton Manning born on the 83rd day of the year. <laughs> All the star quarterbacks have the connection to 83. Also, football equals 29, justify equals 29, the word horse equals 29, just gronk, I thought was interesting, equals 29. And the big thing about this horse was that it was way in last place, and it came back and got second place. So they compared it to Super Bowl 51 when the Patriots came back and beat the Falcons. They were down by 25, one of the most rigged, you know, another rigged Super Bowl. Absolutely obvious. We'll look at it really quick. I can't remember it all, but it came back from 25 points. The game was on 2-5. The AFC got their 25th win in the Super Bowl. Matt Ryan fumbled the ball, and the Patriots got the ball on the 25-yard line. And the Patriots won because of James White, number 25 score. James White just turned 25 years old. I mean, they won by six. If you write out six, it equals 25. It was the 25th playoff win for Tom Brady. The first drive of the game, the Patriots started at the 25-yard line, and they got nine yards, and they finished the drive on the 34-yard line, and it was Tom Brady's 25th playoff win and his 34th playoff game, even. The 97th season of the NFL, the 25th prime number is 97. When Matt Ryan fumbled the ball on the 25, it was recovered by number 97 of the Patriots. 25th prime is 97. You know, absolutely scripted. So, there's there's more to it, you know. I don't even think I wrote them all in there. So, the whole point of, all, of saying all that was because Super Bowl 53 will be held in Atlanta this year. So, this horse makes the comeback, reminding us of how the Patriots made a comeback in Super Bowl 51 against Atlanta. And Super Bowl 53 will be held in Atlanta. That's why I brought that up. And, you know, something I documented a really long time ago in regards to Super Bowl 53 was that the Patriots in history, they went to the Super Bowl and lost in the 66th season of the NFL, the 77th. They lost the 88th they went and lost. And this year is the 99th season of the NFL. So. Possibly they'll go and break the curse of that, or, you know, there's a lot more to look into, but interesting they would lose. Every every 11 years, they're in the Super Bowl, and they lose. So this is the 11th year that they would make it and lose again. So we'll see how it all plays out. Also justifies odds, or 4-5, and five, reminding us of New England again, right? And then he wins four months, five days after the Super Bowl. So, 
we'll leave it at that. Just wanted to make a quick video, show you why Rob Gronkowski made $69 bets on his horse, you know, on the horse race of 6-9. It's not because it's a joke and they think it's funny. Rob Gronkowski and Gematria equals 69. And this stuff happens every single day. I mean, it's not just limited to this one story. I mean, it's not just because he's gambling and he thought that would be cool. It's because it's all by the system. So, just want to get that point across. Have a good one. Peace.